Hello everyone. In today's video, I will be solving the question that we have uh, at Ajman University uh, uh, course uh, generative and parametric design and the exam one uh, specifically of that course. And the question in hand is just uh, targeting to create a very basic uh, bridge structure. And it's actually the structure or the wireframing required to create a, a bridge suspended with cables. So the question is the uh, required for the, the to design is just a, a, big, uh, a bridge with a length of a 10 meter, and the length is approximately 50. And uh, there is a support column in the middle, exactly of the of the bridge, 20 meter in high. In height, to the uh, overall uh, column in the middle, and there is like suspension, uh, suspending cables that come run from the top of the point to each side of the bridge. And the required uh, here is 11, so there is 11 uh, cable uh, on each side. So I will start up by solving this uh, problem or solving this uh, exam and putting in hand that we have uh, two points uh, at each side, or generally we have four points actually and each one of them is just like five meter away from the center line and the overall width as you can see length is 50 so uh, I will start to solve this uh, exam uh, in this video I'll be solving it as you know as non-parametric as possible and this suits this solution suits if you don't want to make this a fully parametric model. Uh, it's very easy, and yet it's you know hard to be uh, adjust later. I can show you in the next video how to do the you know the more, more accurate method that just uh, allow everything to be fully parametric and allow more than one option. But let's solve this specific target or this specific exam as simple as possible if we don't need that to be repeated in a different model. So it's not a parametric, not fully parametric model. So I'm going to allocate the points and then uh, just uh, a code block with a 5, assuming that uh, it's going to go in the y-axis. Actually, I'm just going to ignore the uh, x-axis. I'm just going going back to the PDF, assuming that the length is 50. Uh, actually, so I'm going to from 50, I'm going to go 25, and I'm going to give this to the x. So that's half of the uh, bridge itself. And I'm going to take those together, Control C and Control D, and add a minus 25. That's the main axis or the length, uh, overall length of the uh, bridge. So now all what we need is a line. Okay, that's uh, need a start point and end point, and by that we will be generating a curve. So, because as you know, the curve, uh, a line in uh, in diagram is just one type of a curve we can have. So I'm going to go for a point by uh, at the parameter. So I'm going to take the line, which is a curve again, and my parameter will be uh, something that goes from zero. Uh, it's actually 11 cables. So if I go from zero to 10, that will do the trick. Uh, as you know, in Dynamo, the zero is actually counted as a member. So from zero to 10, which is an 11 cable. Okay, so that's just that's all all what we need. So now we have we have a line. And we have a point at parameter, so we have technically an 11 uh, point. For some reason, they are not showing up in the uh, node right here. And now, in the middle of that curve, which which is almost nothing, which is the origin, all what you need is to, uh, you know, take this uh, a point. I'm going to assume that. Uh, you don't need to assume actually. The height is 20 meter in the middle. So 20, and that will be the Z, so this is it, see? And you can just take a point, I just cut it out, so that's the origin. Or you can use the origin uh, node in Dynamo. Now another line, and that's the column in the middle, all right? That's what, what we actually need. So uh, the top point is the one we are looking for, so another line. And just disconnect everything. Actually, I shouldn't. Just the top one is the one I need to start up with. And then the points that you generated. And for some reason, 
and I get a crazy results. So let's check what I have done. Oh, there. All right. So the point, the mistake I've done here is that I add from zero to ten. I should go from zero to one. Okay, and dot dot zero point one. Okay, that's better. And as you see, that um, the zero here. In the mistake I've done is the zero is a startup value, and ten is the ten times the amount of length. So it goes one time, two time, ten time, and at a point each, which is a mistake. And in the state zero is the beginning of the line, and one here it represents the end of the line. So it doesn't have anything to do with the actual length or units. Uh, and the zero point one is just the amount of jumps for that range or the steps in that range. And this will generate, as you can see, uh, a point at each 10%, and we have 11 points, so that's what we have. So, uh, as you see, uh, the bridge is, the uh, column is only in the middle, but the end cables connecting to the side of the bridge is 5 meters away, back to the point we started. So I'm going to go for you, because that's exactly in the center, which makes uh, no sense. So, <clears throat> take that 5 and just connect it to the green axis, which is the Y, and do the same in the Y for the second point. So now we can see that the points actually shifted, as you can see, and getting us to the edge of the road or edge of the bridge. Now the rest is, uh, I think, self-explain so you can uh, either because those are not you know uh, not, you don't need to repeat them the things required to the middle cable so those guys you can just control G them then control C control V you're going to have the other side okay which is now it's exactly in the same place so what is different is that uh, we have minus 5 I think isn't it yeah Exactly, so these are this is the line and this is the points, and all what you have to do is just to create another line here. Uh, the origin, which is this top, is the same, and the end point are the new fresh ones. As you can see, that's super easy and super quick. Now we have two lines, all what we need is to loft those lines together. As you see, cross section, so plural condition. You can't, you can't at all just give it two parameters. But they are single entities. So what you need is to add. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> you need to add list dot create. List dot create will create one list as a one entity that have two sub lists. So now we have uh, one entity here. Oh, that's also wrong. I should, because I added the two list in here. Okay, so let me fix this. I need this line and this line. Okay, my bad. What, what are you? Yep, this line. The lesson is don't do uh, video, uh, YouTube videos at 1 a.m. That's the lesson. Now you can love those, and by that we end up the uh, the required. If we compare it to this one, it's exactly what we have. And it's it's a very short method. Uh, the purpose of the exam was to show the student that um, you know they can achieve a quick results. Even this is not really the best and the fastest way to do it. That's number one, but they can do it the the way uh, you know. Uh, that is shown in here in this video. Uh, some of the students I saw in the notice that they just create 11 separated points on each side. That's that's. It's going to end up create the same bridge, but that's uh, worse than this method that I'm going to use now. Um, the lesson is that you can do this type of modeling. It's a, it's hard for you guys uh, to understand that uh, later on when you when you come that what is the 25 and what is the five and. These are not slider, so they are harder to be controlled. So I don't prefer, I do not prefer use this method if you want. I actually prefer use this method, you're gonna do that only once. 
and I don't prefer to use this method if you are intend to change the overall dimension x and y uh, for more than one product if you uh, or if you are sending this to uh, another user who doesn't know anything about dynamos you have to provide them at least a slider that control the length and width and the height and the number of the cable that's what we're going to do in the next video anyway thank you very much for watching and have a good day